Edgeworks Nebula. Hey, Molly. Hey, m m m Max. Ooh, Ooh, how's your day going? How you doing? I, how you, you know what, Molly? Mm, Hang on. Mm. How you doing? I'm doing good, Max. How you doing? <laughs> Yeah, we're good. I'm good. Um, I have, I've got a topic for you today that I am so excited to teach you about. I don't know that you really have something planned. I think you're making it up on the spot. <gasps> How dare I'm just you. saying you're very good at improvising. I and you're smart. Looked up so much about today's topic. Did you go to the you... library? No. <laughs> Did you go I went to, the... to the library of Fingers. the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I have a topic for today, and I have some some get some facts <gasps> that will maybe help you guess it. And I think you might actually get this. Okay. One. Uh, okay. The first fun fact for guessing today's topic is: the fitter you are, the quicker you'll start. <gasps> it's almost like a riddle. really. It crazy? really is. Yeah. It's like a newspaper. <laughs> no. <laughs> The fitter you are, the quicker you cook. Okay, okay. The fitter you are, the quicker you'll start. Interesting. Okay. Are you ready for my second fun yes. fact? Which, again, now that I look at it, it's just kind of another riddle. <laughs> the older you are, the less you will. Metabolism? Is this metabolism? <laughs> That's such a great guess. It's not right, oh. but it's a great guess. Okay, okay. Like fingerprints... The compounds and compositions of today's topic are different for every single person. Wow! Crazy. Right? You're not. You are not. I have a. I have okay. a fourth. Okay. A fourth hint slash fact for okay. you. And I think this is the one where you put it together. Okay. So I'm, let me read. Let me read. Okay. Okay. Fact number one: the fitter you are, so the in the better shape you okay. are, the quicker you will start. Fact number two: the older you are the less you will. <gasps> I know what this Fact is. Fact number three, like fingerprints, the compounds and compositions of today's topic are different for every person. And fact number four, Molly, let's bring it home. Even though it's odorless, this is stanky. Oh, this is body odor. <laughs> oh, this is hormones. So close. It's a hormone. You're talking hormones. So close. You are so Puberty. close. No, you're so close. You're like <sighs> you're like looking for milk and you're in the eggs. Oh no. You're so oh, no. close. Eggs, scary. I don't know. Think about <laughs> think about why puberty is stinky though. Teenagers. But why? why? But what about it? Because you're growing. But why are you stinky? You're stinky because your your chemical body is your chemicals are changing. You're <laughs> hormonal. Everything's changing in your body. Well, but but what <laughs> is making you stink, Molly? Sweat. Yes! <laughs> It's a scientific melody. It's a scientific melody. Dee dee dee, scientific melody with Molly and Max. We got there. Did you see my arm? So good. Oh man, we're gonna talk about oh, it. Sweat. Why do we sweat? Molly? Why do we? So we're okay. Talk about time it. out though, because I sweat so much. Oh so the gosh, fitter you so are, good. the sooner you sweat. The fitter, the, yeah, the better shape someone is in, the quicker the body will start to sweat. Okay, so I must be in s splendid shape. You are in exquisite shape. Because I know our listeners can't see, but my armpit is sweating. And it's not, to be honest, that doesn't look like healthy sweat. That looks a little yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that also could be the color of your shirt. That's the color of my nerd. shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so picture this, Molly. I'm picturing it. It's track and field day uh -oh. at school. Better eat my Did pasta. You have track and field yes, day. Yes, I loved. I lived. What was for your it. favorite event? Um, I really liked uh, the three-legged race. Okay, that's a perfect example. Okay. It's track and field day at school. You're gonna compete in the three-legged race. You get to the starting line. Mm -hmm. You tie your leg to your friend. Mm -hmm. Who's your friend? Ra Pick a uh, name. Rachel. Rachel, yeah, you get to the starting line, you tie your leg to Rachel. She's like, I didn't sign up for this. And you look her in the face and you say, this is exactly what you signed up for. It's the three-legged race. And then the Did race I hit begins. Her? Oh, the race began. No, you didn't <laughs> hit your friend. That was the crack oh, of the like, start oh, of the race. That's not how we did it. The race starts, you take off running. It's wobbly. It's chaotic. But you're running, you're both running as fast as you can. And then you notice oh, no. that your back is starting to get oh, wet. Oh, no. And your 
face is starting to get wet. Oh, no. What is that? That's so gross and sticky. I know, but don't panic. <sighs> it's normal. It's just sweat. You're starting to sweat. So I'm normal? Yeah. Well, you're not normal, <laughs> but the Touché. hypothetical situation is normal. <laughs> so our bodies operate best when they are at 98.6 degrees. You knew I that. knew that. I knew, do you know that though? Sometimes when I go to the doctor and if I'm like around 99, they're like, oh, sometimes people just naturally run hot. You can fluctuate, but 98.6 is the average core temperature okay. of the human body. Amazing. So you can be a little bit hotter, you can be a little bit colder, okay. but 98.6 is kind of that average where you know you're healthy. Is that, was it Katy Perry who said, cause you're hot, then you're cold, you're yes, then you're no? You're in, then you're out. You're up, then you're down. Yeah, I think that's all the I lyrics we can so. say, I though, because so. we <laughs> cannot afford the rights to that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, baby, <laughs> you're a firework if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh. um, so, 98.6 is our average body core temperature, but when our body starts to get hotter than that, our brain is like, nah-uh, honey, uh -uh. you're too hot now. No, 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 uh uh, -uh. <laughs> So our brain wants to cool our body down because when our body is cool and we're at our average temperature, that's when we're as, comfortable as, we're as comfortable as we can possibly be. So the part, did you know this? I actually didn't know this and I felt like I should have known okay. this. We have a part of our brain that controls our body temperature. Wow. What's it called? The thermometer? Molly. What is it called? Guess what it's called. It's called the heater. You're not going to okay. guess. Okay. It's called the mononucleosis. You're not going to get it right. Okay. But guess what it's called? It's called, what's it start with? Give me the first letter. It starts with an H. It is the, it's the, um, it's the helio something. Helio, helio larceny. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter. Helio larceny? What's it called? The hypothalamus. Wow. The hypothalamus. It's a big word. It's very hard to spell but it is pronounced the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus sends a little text message beep, 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 from beep. the brain to the body and is like, hey, start sweating. We're getting hot. We need to cool down, start sweating. I'm getting warm just you telling me about this. I know, it's a lot. Wow. So you're in your mid race, you're start, your body's starting to heat up, you're starting to increase that core temperature and your hypothalamus is like, hey, we gotta cool this down. Shoots a quick text message to the brain, says, hey baby, start sweating. Once the hypothalamus sends that message to the brain and says, hey, start sweating, these special glands in our skin called, guess it, what's it called? It, now, is that a lymph node? Nope. nope. Sweat glands. They are. There you go. Yeah, they're called sweat glands. That makes sense. Your sweat glands start to produce sweat. So, Molly, what's another word for sweat? Schwitzing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. It starts with a P. Persip or per uh, 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 oh, oh, perspire, perspire, perspire. Perspire, yeah. yeah. Another word for sweat is perspiration. perspiration. Yeah. Um, perspiration, sweat, it's just entirely made of water and then other chemicals like ammonia or urea and then salts. And there's actually even some sugar in your sweat, wow. which is kind of interesting. So once your sweat glands start producing sweat, the sweat will leave your skin through little bitty tiny holes called pores. pores. Um, and when the sweat hits the air, the air makes the sweat evaporate or disappear. Wow. Which is why, if you've ever noticed, when you get really, 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 really sweaty, mm -hmm. eventually you're not sweaty anymore because it all evaporates. And that's true. And that's also, I will tell you, when I was trying to um, switch to a natural deodorant, which does not mm -hmm. oftentimes have the um, aluminum, which then is the thing that like powder fresh, it makes you not, it's like the thing that anti-sticks yep. you. So you take that out and then you just have a thing in there that like helps your sweat smell good, but it, it's become sticky. And boy, oh boy, yeah. I have several pictures of an armpit rash because I didn't have the ability. Yep. It's in a place that yeah. doesn't dry up on its own. And without that deodorant aluminum in there, I know that's bad because it's not good for you, but I have to go back to regular because otherwise. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, thank you so much. It happens. Can yeah, I tell you welcome. one other cool thing really quickly on yeah, your please. fun topic? This is actually a little question, a little uh, riddle for you. Not a riddle. I'm asking the questions I'm here. Asking. Switch over. <laughs> the tables have turned. Do you know that when dogs get hot, they pant? You knew that, yeah? I did but know did that. you know they do also sweat? But guess where they sweat? 
<laughs> and their tongues? No, 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 oh, no, I don't no. Know. What? They're pom they're pads. Paws? They're pom oh, pads. Really? So I have a little oh. pom pom now, and he's real fluffy. You can sometimes, when it's a hot day, you'll see when Archie walks on the wood floor, you see his little paw prints because he's got sweaty feet. We're going to groove him. That's so cute. isn't that cute? Dogs sweat through their paw pads. I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, so the air makes our sweat evaporate, which actually then cools our body down. So the sweat evaporating off our skin cools our body down, yeah. which brings us back to that core, average core temperature of 98.6 degrees. Amazing. So sweat is awesome i know it is terrible but it is awesome oh, and it boy. keeps us it keeps our body safe Aww. um but uh -oh. if we sweat too much uh -oh. or if it's a really hot day and you're trying to win that three-legged race so you're pushing you're gonna yourself get dehydrated we could potentially lose too much water uh -oh. from our sweat and we could get dehydrated so that's why you gotta drink lots of lots of water mm -hmm. if it's hot if you're exercising mm -hmm. Um, or if you're just sweaty a lot, you got to drink a lot of water. Yeah, and, and it also helps when you're really hot and sweaty to put a little cold towel on your neck. That's like one of those little zones on it's your body fair. that cools you down. I love mm. it. That's very, very good. That's, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so now the question that I know is pressing on your mind. Oh, my goodness. Molly. It's like the question right in the front. From the beginning. From the very beginning. Why does sweat Stink. stink yes why, is it so why does it smell bad why does it smell like flowers so sweat actually it doesn't stink hmm? your body alert. does no well kind of <laughs> no uh no so sweat actually is completely odorless wow but when the sweat mixes with bacteria mm. that lives on our skin mm -hmm. naturally yeah flora that's when it can get pretty stinky. Yes, but that... So it's actually the bacteria on our skin that's causing the smell, not the actual sweat itself. But you know what? When you say there's bacteria on our skin, I don't want anybody to get scared because that's actually a good thing. It's good bacteria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good, healthy germs. Yeah. But when they get wet from sweat, they just kind of get get wet stinky. from sweat. I and know. then they stink like a little vet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so... Now, okay. when we reach puberty, Pu which uh, kids, uh, 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 ask your parents about that later, my voice just uh, changed. Or, or hashtag see a future episode, <laughs> uh, special hormones affect the glands in, our, in places like our armpits, wow. which causes our armpits to get stinky. So, it's normal to sweat. It's normal. It's okay. It means everything is working. But if you're going to get super sweaty, make sure you take a bath. You stanky clown. That's how I. <laughs> that's how I'm finishing this episode. If you're gonna get too sweaty, make sure you take a bath. You stanky clown. Are you really gonna end it like that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's the end. That's sweat. That's why we sweat. I got a song for you. But you gotta make your body move Cause I haven't told you yet But it's a song about sweat The fitter you are The sooner you'll start But the older you get The less you'll sweat Everyone's unique You smell like you I smell like me It's actually odorless Until it meets our bacterial friends The hypothalamus is an AC And all of us when your brain turns Till the air dries it up and it's I gone I got a song for you You better keep that body moving Cause it's not over yet This is our song about sweat 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 98.6 degrees Feels the best to you and me When we get hotter it's true We start to sweat just to keep our cool So we sweat Sweat, 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 sweat. Edgeworks Nebula.